Welcome. Today I'm going to teach you how to make this masterpiece using only an iPhone and the LightX app. Step number one, you're going to need a selfie. So go ahead and open your camera app and just take a selfie. It doesn't matter if you look good, but what does matter is that you need the light hitting your face. So make sure that you've got light hitting your facial features. Everything else can be modified. No need to worry about it. Open the app and tap on the plus sign at the bottom of the screen and then tap edit photo. Once we have selected our photo, we're going to go ahead and start with the magic cutout option. See that bottom left corner, those scissors, select those. This is the best option for selfies. It recognizes people like crazy. AI has truly changed the editing game. So if you got selfies and you just want to do like a quick little background erase, do that. But we've erased the background and we're going to go ahead and save this image to our collection so that we could use it later dates. But as of now, we're going to go ahead and move forward, check mark, check mark, and now this is our background options. I'm going to start with the image, and I'm just going to pick an image from my camera roll. This is a tree that I saw on a hike the other day. It's kind of, I thought it was really pretty. Next, I don't know if you noticed, but my skin is flawed, so we're going to hit the smooth option under the retouch categories, and we're going to do the right cheek the left cheek, the top of the forehead, and the tip of the nose. I know, I know you can see those blemishes that are on my brow bone. They are screaming at me to get rid of them, but we're not going to use the smooth option for those. We're going to use the spot option for those. So we're going to go ahead and tap on spot, and we're going to hit those spots on my brow bones. We're going to start with the really, really, really big one. That's the fresher one. It's deep right now. It's not going to come out for like another week. So we're going to start off with this one, but we're going to want to select uh, some light from the same general area so that the light is kind of consistent. And then we're going to move on to the smaller one. And once again, I'm going to want to select from the same general area for lighting purposes so that it stays somewhat consistent. Bam. Perfect. So up next, I kind of want to make myself a little bit skinnier. So we're going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and select the refine option. And we're going to do the symmetrical one. And I'm just going to go to the bottom by my mouth. You know, I've gained some weight. We just want to make this a little bit smaller. Unfortunately, because my head, when I take my, when I took my selfie, I was turned to the right. You can see down there on my bottom right hand side. My jowl is extremely pronounced, so I'm going to use the pinch feature and just kind of pinch that in a little bit. Unfortunately, that really allows you to see my fat back. So that's where we're going to attack next. Not in real life. I mean, I am attacking it in real life, but we're going to attack it in the photos. I thought I would be able to do the spot corrector, but honestly, it just it wasn't coming out the way that I wanted to. And every time that it was coming out somewhat close, it had this like red tint to it. So spot corrector is not the way to go, at least not on the iPhone. If you're doing this on the computer, you're probably going to have a better option, but this is the iPhone. So I'm just going to go ahead and take artistic liberties and go to the graphics option. And we're going to just hit on the doodle. And once you've got your doodle, we're going to select, and then we're just going to color, you know, and we need variety because like it's the shadows. And honestly, I don't know if you didn't notice this when I first started the video, then honestly, it's not that noticeable. So who really cares? This is an uh, this is a photo that we edited on the iPhone. OK, so up next, I'm going to make my eyes a little bit wider using the teeth option. This is the teeth option. OK. And finally, I'm just going to take some artistic liberties and kind of fuck around with my face. For some reason, so the app was allowing me to show you all of my editing process up until now. For some reason, the like the reshape option does not allow me to screen record. But um, just believe me when I'm telling you that I'm reshaping and I am making my head bigger. That's all I'm really doing. It's just artistic liberties. But for some reason, the Light X app does not allow me to show screen record the edits when I'm reshaping, but every single other edit is fine. So that was the reshaping edit. And now we're back to the refining. I just want to fuck around with my mouth a little bit. I think it's a little too perfect. So we want to just reshape it a little bit. 
And honestly, I thought I was doing a good job, but I still just don't like that my mouth was too nice. So I just got to really mess with it a little bit now. Make it smaller, a little bit closer to a butthole, and then perk it out. And then I'm going to straighten my nose because we can, you know? Why not? This is Lydex. If you want to give yourself highly invasive plastic surgery, you can. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to give myself something to say. I was recently watching a podcast... Uh, not a podcast. I was watching like I saw a clip of like Trisha Paytas wearing a shirt that said Jesus was a carpenter. And I was like, he kind of was. But I think it was like his dad was mostly a carpenter because like towards the end, Jesus wasn't really like, you know, building stuff, was he? Because like if he was, wouldn't his stuff still be around? Right. Unless he was like a bad carpenter, because I know the Vatican like would have something saying like this is the chair that Jesus built, you know. But it's not around. But there are still like, ro like you know, there are still structures and stuff from way, way, way back when. Anyways, this is not what that video is about. Save your photo and move on. And um, that was it. Uh-oh, someone's coming. So, please subscribe and like for more. Let me know if you liked this. Send me a message if you think, uh, if you want to talk to